Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, we're going to revisit the Raspberry Pi No HDMI project. There are quite a few questions in the community regarding the GPL connections between the Raspberry Pi and the TFT along with the button matrix. So let's take a look. So I'll start out by referencing the GitHub repo that we put together for this project. In here we have our bill of materials, data sheets, enclosure, OS setup. So if you want to see the GPIO connection, you go to the OS setup and then GPIO. And then in here I have this spreadsheet for all the GPIO connections. So we can look at the spreadsheet here and you'll be able to see all the pins, what they're connected to. So we were able to discern all the connections that we would need for the Raspberry Pi through the documentation on raspberrypi.org. DPI, Parallel Display Interface documentation here. It's under Documentation Hardware, Raspberry Pi, DPI. And you scroll down, well you can read this at your leisure, it's very thorough here. You can scroll down to this, this chart that it has for where it shows the different modes that it can output the display through the GPIO. And we use the 565 mode number two here, and that gave us GPIO 27 to 20 to use for our button matrix. So knowing that, we're able to figure out what connections we need. And I'll go back to the spreadsheet here and we can see, so we have the V-Sync, H-Sync, B3, R5, so on and so forth, and they match up with the connections in this mode two here. So knowing what connections were used for the TFT screen, we were able to use GPIO 27, 22, 26, 23, 24, 25, 20, and 21. Those are the pins that we were able to use for the button matrix since we're using the 565 configuration for the TFT display. Now let's take a look at that on the Raspberry Pi itself. Okay, so here we are with the actual hardware. We have our Raspberry Pi here with all the headers stripped off. And then right there is our um, TFT adapter. And down here is our button matrix. So let's take a look on the Raspberry Pi GPIO. So three volts and then going down V-Sync, H-Sync, B3, ground, R5, row, these two here, here we go, this is going to be row one, row zero for our button matrix. And then we got three volts or 3.3. Then we have G3, G2, and G4. We come along, we have another ground. Now we have clock. And here we have B4 and B5. Next is going to be G6, R7, and then back to our button matrix is column two, then ground. Let's go over on the other side of the header. Okay, so here's our five volts, five volts, ground. G7, R3, what's next here? R6, there's another ground. And we come along, we have our column one, column zero, Another ground, row two. So after that, we have B7, B6, DE, another ground, G5, another ground right here. We have another ground right there. And then we have uh, R4. And then the last two pins are column three and row three. So basically, on this header here, we have soldered all the black wires go to our TFT -T adapter, and the gray wires go to our button matrix. So that's a review of the connections between the Raspberry Pi, the TFT adapter, and the button matrix for the Raspberry Pi No HDMI project. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at element14.com forward slash pseudosergeant, and I'll see you on the command line.